sports fans. This is Playtry TV. I'm Kinito Henson. Hey, this is Diane Castillo Masayang. I'm in show today. We are celebrating a world Woo! champion newly crowned in boxing, and we're going to have them with us on the show. Super excited. Okay, this is going to be a boxing show, and this is going to be really fresh. First time, makakausap po natin, sama-sama, yung buong team, Marlon Tapales. Newly yes. crowned super WBA and IBF junior featherweight or super bantamweight champion, Marlon Tapales, kasama po natin ngayon. And then we've got uh, the guys on the screen. Um... That's Lady Val uh, Gibbons, we just saw. Lady <laughs> Val. <laughs> Lady Val. Lady Val. Ernel Fontanilla, and Sugar Ting Ariosa. They're all together. Lady Val is waving the Philippine flag. <laughs> yes. So, congratulations sa inyo lahat. Congratulations. Oh, what a win. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Paul. Okay. First I question love it, natin. Love it. Marlon. Nung nasabi ng ring announcer na ikaw na ang bagong kampiyon, anong unang-unang pumasok sa utak mo? Uh, Siyempre syempre po, nagpapasalamat po ako sa Panginoon at uh, nakuha ko yung panalo. Uh, at saka sa team ko na, na sumusuporta sa akin, syempre po, yun po. Kaya uh, emotional po tayo kasi... Siyempre, mahirap din po yung pinagdaanan namin. So, habang hinihintay mo yung decision ng mga judge, did you think that you did enough at sigurad ka ba na makukuha mo yung, ma mananakaw mo yung dalawang belt ni MJ? Uh, para sa akin po, po, kumpiyansa po ako na mananalo ako kasi sa ginawa ko po, uh, inunahan ko na po siya. First to yeah. uh, seven rounds, eight rounds, uh, kinuha ko na po yung round. Kaya... Alam ko po na panalo po ako sa laban. Kumpiyansa okay. po kung panalo po ako. JC Manangkil of Sandman Promotions, siya po ang manager ni Marlon Tapales. JC, yes. ano ang game plan ni Marlon bago siya lumaban? Uh, of course, sila na yung ano, nag-training yung mga coaches niya, si Coach Ernel and si Coach uh, Ting. So, uh, sila na yung nag-gumawa ng game plan and uh, na nakita ninyo, Effective naman. So, if effective, so world champion na ulit si Marlon. And uh, coaches okay. Arnel and uh, Coach Ting, super congratulations. Grabe, early on pa lang yung mga job really worked. And then yung left uppercut talagang uh, napatunog at talagang natikman ni MJ yung power ni Marlon right away. Now, so sabi nga ni Marlon, nauna siya, di ba? And then in the later rounds... Um, naka, nakabalik si, si MJ and then in the 12th round you almost parang narock ka, di ba? Can you make us kwento kung ano yung nararamdaman mo sa mga later rounds kahit alam mo na na nakuha mo na yung mga earlier rounds kasi marami rin ang bumilib sa'yo na yung stamina mo ay was very consistent all the way up to the end. Sa late, late rounds, syempre, um, nakafeel din ako ng pagod pero hindi naman ako nagpabaya. Uh, Nagtapon pa rin ako ng suntok, uh, tinatamaan ko pa rin siya. Tsaka, uh, anun pa rin ako, hindi pa rin ako parang bumigay talaga. Uh, bumabato pa rin ako ng suntok at tsaka uh, pinakita ko pa rin na ano, uh, kaya ko pa. Yun po. Let's bring Don't in MP Promotions Head, Sean Gibbons. Sean, right. Ayan earlier said that there was one judge, Javier Alvarez of Texas, scoring it 118 to 110. Sergio Caiz of Texas, or, or rather of California, scoring it 115-113. And Judge Jose Roberto Torres of Puerto Rico, 115-113. Let's flash the scorecard on our screens right now. We've got the scorecard. And we want to be able to show you that in the last four rounds, eh, nakuha lahat ni uh, MJ. Okay, you see the scorecards. The first is Alvarez. Second is Torres. The third is Caiz. Notice that in the last four rounds, all three judges scored it for MJ. But yung first judge, yung Javier Alvarez, nakakagulat yung score. Binigay niya the first two rounds kay Marlon. Tapos the next 10 rounds, binigay niya sunod-sunod lahat-lahat para kay MJ. John Gibbons, what can you say about the judging of this contest, especially the judging and the scoreship of Javier Alvarez? Give us that. 
Well, all I can say is thank God there was two judges that were there at the arena judging the fight. Not sure where the third guy was sitting, um, but that's how boxing sometimes works. I, I, I can't figure for the life of me how he scored it that way. And even with the other two judges, I think Marlon won the 11th or 12th round. I think he won 8-4, to four, but we'll take 5-3. to three. But again, with boxing, thank goodness there's three judges and two always seem to get it right. But the third one is just absurd. I, you know, it's not right. Coach, Coach Arnell and Coach Ting, sa mga later rounds, nung medyo nakakatama na si Muro John, and you knew you had to seal the deal, seal the win. Ano yung mga sinasabi nyo kay uh, Marlon and vice versa? Can you tell us what was going on in the corner? Coach well, Arnell. Well, uh, talagang nag-iingat lang tayo kasi alam naman natin na uh, alam, alam kong kuhang-kuha na yung buong round na ano, talagang kumpiyansa tayong ate na yung round na yun. So, ang ginagawa lang, nag-iingat pa rin tayo habang... Uh, hanggang matapos ang round. So, um, habang bunga pa to, yung, yung job lang, kailangan nandun lagi. Tsaka, ano, careful lang talaga. Yeah. Coach Ting, meron ko sinabi uh, sa akin nung nag-text tayo. Sabi mo, nung round number seven, nakatama si MJ ng dalawang sunod na left straight. Na medyo, medyo na ano, medyo nayanig si Marlon at uh, umatras papunta sa kanyang corner. Um, and after that, Nakuha din natin yung 8th round pero after pagkatapos ng 8th round medyo pre-deserve na natin yung lead natin no. So nagiba parang hindi na masyadong gumana yung job ni Marlon in the last 4 rounds. Ano nangyari doon? Coach Ting. Nag-adjust yung kalaban natin. Uh, they were desperate. They were, they knew they were behind. So nag-rush sila and Marlon being a veteran fighter, he knows that he needs to weather the storm. So, nag-ilag-ilag uh, siya, nag-maneuver siya, nag-counter siya. Kaya kung makita natin, yung mga hambalos ni MJ, tatama ng isa-dalawa, tapos the third and the fourth, and the rest will not uh, connect with Marlon. Tapos pag nag-counter si Marlon, tumitigil siya. So, we, uh, we in the corner were so satisfied kasi ang chemistry ni Coach Ernel at saka ni Marlon was correct. Kung ano yung instruction, ginagawa ni Marlon, hindi siya nagbago, hindi siya hindi siya nagmadali. So, alam niyang lamang siya, he took care of, of the lead. Hindi siya nag na magkaroon ng major mistakes. I wanted just to bring in uh, Lady Val Gibbons. Okay, she's now on our screen. <laughs> Valerie, you have to tell us, how did you feel when your fellow Filipino Marlon Tapales won? And, you know, I'm saying fellow Filipino because... Lady Val, you're as Filipino as everyone else. Tell us how you felt. Oh, uh, I felt so happy and <laughs> to be watching the champion win the IBF, the WA belt, the world champion, the new. Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 he, he worked so hard with his coach. <laughs> and I was very, very happy to be there live from the Philippines to America to see him win. So <laughs> Val, Val, you look so com you look so she looks so composed now. But I know when you're watching the fights, you are like cheering your head off. So you must. <laughs> yes, <laughs> thank you, thank it, you. It hits the heart. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to ask um, Marlon and Sean, you know, si, si Muro John is known for his power at uh, nakatikim ka rin ang mga suntok niya. How strong were his punches? This guy to the, holds two bets, undefeated, bago pumasok against you, 11-0. and 0. Gano, How strong were his punches that you had to really take? And how hurt did you get if you did? Marlon and Sean. Marlon. Uh, uh, para sa akin po, hindi naman, para sa akin, hindi naman masyadong malakas kasi nakikita ko yung suntok eh. May, mm, okay. May suntok niya. Kasi nakikita ko, kaya kaya kong sabayan or kaya kong ilagan or kaya kong, eh, ano, eh, eh, oh, eh, mag-roll na lang ako. Tapos, yun, tsaka expected ko naman talaga yun kasi, Nakikita ko naman sa lahat ng laban niya, ganun yung mga suntok niya. So, expected na yung ganun. Tapos, uh, sa training din, marami akong kasparing. Kaya, sanay na po ako. Okay. Sean? Uh, one, one sec, Ms. Diane. We want to bring in the first Filipino to beat Ekmedioff. 
He wants to see Okay, you. Jade oh. Pornea! Jade. Jade. Um, Hi, Jade. Okay, 2013, tinalo ni Jade Bornea si MJ. Nangyari yun sa Subic in an Asian Junior Championships. He stopped him in the third round. Nandun ako, Jade oh, Bornea. Natanlaan ko yun. Pero Jade, Jade, ano masasabi mo sa panalo ni uh, Marlon? At pangalawa, alam ko lalabang ka for the uh, IBF Super Flyweight Championship. Fernando Martinez, yung tumalo kay uh, Jerwin Angkahas. Okay, first, ano masasabi mo tungkol sa panalo ni Marlon? Pangalawa, ano masasabi mo sa darating mong laban for the World Championship against Martinez? Jade? Uh, una, una ano sobrang saya kasi isa ako sa, ano, na, sa, 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 sa paghihirap ni Champ Marlon. Grabe yung pinagdaanan niya sa training. Tapos ngayon, nag, nagbunga yung ano, pinaghirapan niya. Sobrang saya ko. Kasi, kasi ano, kumbaga naging part ako sa kanya. Saka sa darating kong laban, ano, handa-handa na rin po ako. Kasi eh, matagal na din akong naghanda. Okay, congratulations. And Sean, congratulations. Congrats again. Sean, I wanted to uh, get back to my question to you earlier. So how how me how strong do you uh, were the punches that uh that Marlon had to take and you know he was a 5 to 1 underdog coming in and you you said that it would be really close. So how much did he have to take? So well, especially towards good, the end. Good thing is Marlon showed a lot of defense that people didn't realize he had. So you know, he caught a few punches in the fight that were really big, strong punches, but he's got a tremendous chin. But his defense is very underrated, too. He rolled, he slipped, he moved around. So um, at the end, the objective is not to take punches, and he did a very good job of that. So um, so the punches he took, though, he was prepared, he was ready, he was in shape to, you know, to take them. Yeah, more, he looked like super shape. More importantly, he gave some really good ones that make, made Akhmedyov think about do I want to come in? Right. Do I? That was the difference in the yeah. fight. He opened it up very strong. He took Akhmedyov out of his game immediately. And that's what carried him to, you know, carried him to victory was the early rounds. I still thought he did very well in the 11th and 12th to close it out. Um, mm -hmm. But he'd done enough early in, in boxing. All you got to do is win 7 to 12. And that's what he did. So, Fantastic. One more person, please. One more supporter that helped Marlon yes. prepare. Mr. Jerwin. Jerwin! Oh, Jerwin and God. Here, all the champs. Hello, hello, hello. Nice. Filipino support. Come to Jerwin. What do you feel about the fight? Ni ano, ni Marlon. Sobrang saya po. Isang uh, sobrang saya po namin po, ma'am, na talagang napanalo ni Marlon yung laban po talaga. At uh, isa din po ako sa naging saksi sa sacrifice na ginawa ni Marlon lahat po at uh, nagiging nagbigay din po si Marlon talaga sa amin ng uh, inspiration kami ni Jed naging inspiration namin si Marlon ngayon sa panalo na to ma'am Jerwin anong uh, susunod na laban mo kailan yon at uh, meron na bang uh, linaw kung sino makakalaban natin Wala pa po sir, inaayos pa pa rin po ni Sir Sean nakasalalay po lahat yung ano namin kay Sir Sean talaga Okay, maraming All right. salamat. Well, um, Sean? Yes. Marlon, um, nandiyan ba yung belt mo dalawa? Hawak mo yung dalawang belt? Or did you pack it up? <laughs> Un Unfortunately, his opponent ran off with our belts. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But, but the good thing is, I have the IBF belt at my house in Los Angeles. I'm going to give Marlon to take back to the Philippines. <laughs> I have a WBA belt in Las Vegas that he can use those two until we get our... Uh, Formal belt, yeah. former belt. Okay, so you have belts laying around at the house just for moments like this. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. So you have two belts now, and then I know everyone's talking about how the, the you know the biggest next goal now is to fight the winner of Inoue and Fulton, where there are two other belts in the super bantamweight. That's July twenty-five. So wow, can you imagine Marlon Tapales could be the undisputed champion in the super bantam yep. yeah and, yeah that, you know that's a belt that the senator had he had the ibf that's the belt that made the senator when he came to the united states was the 122 pound belt it was the ibf belt so marlin has duplicated a feat that the senator had in winning that belt but 
I don't even think the senator never unified four belts ever. <laughs> Nobody. That's from the true. Yeah, so that would be some serious history right there. So Viva, it looks like uh, Marlon is going to be fighting the winner of Fulton Inoue. Is that going to be his next fight? Or will there be an interim fight before that one? No, the idea is to be ringside at the fight. And uh, of course, we'll all, we're all very big Inoue fans. And uh, <laughs> we will be cheering for, uh, for the monster. Yeah, so yeah, the yeah. nightmare and the monster... <laughs> that's gonna that's be gonna be year. that's gonna be really blockbuster and scary. Okay, so L let's bring in uh, let's bring in Coach Ernel again. Uh, we have some videos of uh, Marlon training. The champ's working. Dardine, that was Vincent Astrolabia and the boys, but Marlon trained very similar to that. This fight and um, Coach Larry Wade, strength and conditioning, Arnell, um, Coach Shug, everybody, my son Parker, Brendan, everybody helped and yes. played a role yes. to get Marlon prepared 100%. Yes. Yes. Well, you mentioned Larry Wade, the strength and conditioning coach. We have a picture of Larry Wade with Jade and Marlon. There you go. Yep. That's yep. Larry wow. Wade, there's Marlon and Jade. Boy, what physiques. Um, coach. Um, Arnel, ano ba sasabi mo tungkol sa contribution ni Larry Wade? Well, napakalaking bagay po yun kasi um, I think ito first time din nilang mangyayari itong ganitong klaseng uh, the po camp na nandun talaga yung uh, conditioning coach. It's a uh, pinakamalaki, ano, big deal talaga yung nangyayari ganun kasi um, there's a lot of uh, improvement uh, nakikita natin ngayon sa mga sa mga nangyayari, napaka um, napakalaking ano po, napakalaking tulong po yung uh, ginawa ni Larry Wade. Marlon, can you tell us, grabe kasi yung kondisyon na naabot mo in for this fight. Gano'ng katagal ka nag-ensayo, prepare for this big one? Uh, uh, can you can you make us kwento kung uh, gano'ng katagal ka nag-train, saan at sino mga nakasama mo dun sa Vegas? Um, mag-training po ako, uh, nagsimula po ako sa LA, tapos bumiyahe po kami dito ng Las Vegas ng January. So mga uh -huh. so, dito, mga tatlo, apat, from LA, nag-start na tayo ng dalawang buwan natin. Oo. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So mataas, mataas na yung training namin, simula pa nung nandun kami sa LA. Tapos yep. bumiyahe kami sa, ano, sa, sa ano, Las Vegas, doon namin pinagpatuloy. Tapos nandun na yung... Uh -huh ito yung mga conditioning uh nutritionist yun po so would you say ito yung pinakamagandang condition mo for the fight kasi you look so like aside from looking super bato-bato talagang yung yung energy mo at yung power mo hindi hindi talaga nag uh, nagbawas all the way yep opo ito po yung pinakamagandang uh, training camp po uh, since uh, before na nag nagbaboxing po ako pero pag matutuloy yung naoya inoy or ako or full mm -hmm. coat, mas maganda pa yung training camp na gagawin namin <laughs> wow okay wow mayroon meron kang kinausap pagkatapos sa laban at meron tayong picture kung sino yung nakausap mo you've got Manny Pacquiao who is uh, oh, your benefactor God. Talking with him, there's uh, Viva Sean. He arranged that call. Anong sinabi sa'yo ni Senator Manny pakatapos pong tinalo si MJ? Um, Nag-advise siya sa akin. Uh, at saka nag-congrats, nag-congrats siya sa akin. Mm -hmm. Ano yung advice niya? 
Ah uh, nag-congrats siya at sab na uh, nag-advise siya na ano lang uh, uh, training, always training at saka uh, yun sabi niya kuan daw uh, hard work daw every time na uh, may laban. Yeah. I'm sure super proud siya sa iyo. So um Marlon and Sean, ano ba yung mga next moves mo? Babalik ka ba dito sa Philippines? I hear you might be going on a grand vacation or Ano bang, I know you're still on celebration mode, pero as of now, ano yung plan mo? Uh, opo, uh, tingin ko, uuwi po kami kasama ng boss ko. Uh, magbabakasyon po siguro muna sa, ano, sa amin. Kasi namimiss ko na yung pamilya ko. Kailan kayo makakabalik? Sean? Kailan kayo makakabalik, uh, Marlon? At kasama, kasama mo si Coach Ernel? Uh, sa... Parang, kasama ko po si Coach Ernel. Okay, Mga kailan yung mga kablik dito? April 15 po siguro. 17 yung dating po. Ah, okay. Nice. Okay. Abangan namin. Sana ma, ma, makausap ka. So you are only one of two world champions now sa Pilipinas. The other one being Melvin Jerusalem. Yep. Uh, Marlon, gano'ng katindi ang desire mo na maging undisputed sa 122 at kaya ba? Kaya bang talunin ang monster na si Inoue kung siya ang manalo kay Fulton? Ah, <laughs> uh, ito ma- malaking uh, ano po sa akin, siging undisputed at uh, gra- uh, ano po eh, uh, parang kumbaga malaki po yung inspired uh, Ano, kasi gagawa po ng history, you know. Tsaka sa karangalan din po ng ating bansa. Uh, okay, well, uh, congratulations once again to everyone, to the team. And I, I hear a dog barking. I don't think there's a dog over at the airport. But uh, <laughs> congratulations to all of you guys. For Congrats, the guys. Yeah, so proud. Salamat, uh, to all of you for uh, gracing another episode of Play It Right TV. Maraming salamat and Mabuhay. Yes, Mabuhay. Hope to see you in the Philippines. Yeah. Good job, guys. Thank you, Mom. Safe Bye. flight. Thank you, thank you. Bye, JC. Thank you. Bye. Okay, that's it. Our big show featuring Marlon Tapales. First time we were able to get the whole team together. Diane, I, I, I felt that so, was yeah. a story. Sean Gibbons, Ernel Fontanilla, Ting Ariosa, and Lady Val uh, Gibbons, and also a, two surprise guests, si Jade Bordea at si Jerwin Ancajas. Yeah, super saya talaga. And it really shows that, you know, it takes a, a village, a whole team to be behind you because it's not easy, as you, as we know, to be boxing champion. And grab rin yung tinalo niya, si Muro John, who was undefeated. He's a bronze medalist in the 2016 Olympics, had an undefeated career, super strong. So, ang sarap, sarap talaga. It's so, it's so nice to see that hard work pays off. And let's, uh, as we continue to support our boxers, diba wala na tayong world champion dati, diba wiped out tayo. And then now we got one back with Jerusalem. And then now we got two belts with Tapales. So hopefully more, more to come. Congratulations We're coming talaga. Up, yes. Marlon Tapales. Jade Bornea, they're going to be fighting for the world championships with the next, within the next uh, two months. So uh, we're hoping, we're hoping. We'll get more Filipino world boxing champions. And with that, we want to thank you again for joining us on Play It Right TV. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. Hit that bell button for notifications every time we've got new episodes, new shows, new insights for you. All right. Maraming salamat. Congratulations again, team. Marlon Tapales, mabuhay ang Filipino boxer. Thank you for watching Play It Right. Please like and subscribe to our channel and share it with others para more viewers can enjoy our episodes. And yes, visit playitright.com where they have really nice sports products, fitness products para sa lahat. Great prices also, lagging in promo, playitright.com. So maraming salamat again. God bless. This is Diane Castillo. Until our next episode, see ya. Mabuhay. Play it right. All the time. So happy.